Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Let's go over the naming of hydrocarbons. The first question is, why should we name hydrocarbons? So I'll take you for an example. Let's suppose we have C6H12. I can write C6H12 as like this. If you see, this is totally C6H12. I can write like this. I can write like this. Or I can write like this. All of these are C6H12. If you see, for each of these figures which I have, or structure I have drawn, each has 6 carbon, 12 hydrogens, 6 carbons, 12 hydrogens, 6 carbons, 12 hydrogen. This guy also has 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen. But all these has different structure, not only different structure, different property. The property is also different. Correct. And that is one reason why we need the naming because just by telling C6H12, you can't say which hydrocarbon I'm talking about. Right? There should be a name for this so that my uh, chemistry uh, world people, my chemists can talk to each other with that. Right? If a chemist says that I have used C6H12 to react with something, I got something, he won't be 100% clear to other chemist because the other chemist may assume that he's talking about this guy or this guy or this guy. He's not sure. Right? So for all these, there should be a unique name to to identify this hydrocarbons, right? And that's why we have this IUP. So, and here also, if you see, we have two kind of names for any hydrocarbons. For us also, you see, there are two names generally. For example, we have nickname, Mintu, Chindu, Bittu, Panti. There are so many nicknames actually we have. And we have a registered name in school or in our certificates. That name is a little better. For example, Abhishek, Roshni, they are good names. Right? They are registered names in the schools. So similarly for all this organic compounds also we have two names, IUPAC name and common name. And why we have two names? Because common name was used long before IUPAC name came in the picture. Because this, this IUP, IUPAC name you see, uh, there, there was a body that, or uh, the committee which decided the naming convention much later. Before that also we, uh, we used to, or uh, chemists used to use the name, for example, benzene, methyl chloride, methyl chloride, there's so many compounds already available. Before this, uh, IUPAC came and gave a common naming convention, right? Because there are millions of compounds, right? Millions of hydrocarbons. You can't remember the name of millions of hydrocarbons. So it, it is good if you have a systematic way to write the name for a given Hydrocarbon. For example, I have this hydrocarbon like this, something in this fashion, correct, something in this fashion, I have this hydrocarbon like this, and I want to find the name of this, so it, I can't remember the name, right, so then this guy came, IUPAC came and gave a convention to write name for any hydrocarbon, it gave a set of rules to write name of any hydrocarbon, before that, but way before that, this common name is used for few of the, not for all, common name is for few of hydrocarbons. We'll explain that. When we take some hydrocarbons, we'll tell you what is the common name for that. If exist, and what is the IUPC name? IUPC name exists for all the hydrocarbons because that's just a rule which tells you how to write the name. For example, and common name is name for some of the hydrocarbons. Correct. So IUPC name, the reason it came was because there are million hydrocarbons and it was difficult to remember all the names and that's why this name came. International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, that's the short form of this uh, uh, is IUPAC, right? International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. In 1958, they gave a nomenclature to name all the hydrocarbons. That is, they gave a rule to name all the hydrocarbons in 1958 only. And and that's the reason why we have common name also because before 1958, common name was used for most of the hydrocarbons. But as you see, this uh, hydrocarbon field exploded like anything, a lot of new hydrocarbons came, 
and scientists used to discover a lot of new hydrocarbons daily, daily and it was difficult to write uh, names for those, right, for millions of hydrocarbons. And then this guy, uh, this uh, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry met in 1958 and told, okay, this is my style to write the name for a compound. So, the first thing you have to check for IUPAC nomenclature is the number of carbon atoms. If the number of carbon atoms is 1 in a particular compound, for example CH4, you use the word meth. And thus you have this word methane. If you have 2 carbon atoms, you use the word eth. And thus you have ethane, ethene, ethyme. If you have 3 carbon atoms, you use the word prop. Meaning you have propane, propene, propyne. If you have 4 carbon atoms, you use the use bute. It's bute. Then you have butane, butene, butyne. If you have 5 carbon atoms, then you use the word pen. Then you have pentane, pentene, pentyne. If you have 6 carbon atoms, you use the word hex. Hexene, hexane, hexine examples. Similarly, 7 is hep, heptene, heptane, heptine. 8 is oct. It can be octane. It can be octene, octine. You see 9 is non. non. It is 10. It is dec. Example is decane. So, the first thing you have to see is what IUP, IUPAC has told is check for the number of carbon atoms. If it has one carbon atom, use the word meth or meth. Two carbon, use the word eth. Three prop, four bute, five pent, six hex, seven hept, eight oct, nine non, and ten dec. Right? And then you find the bond. If it has single bond, all single bond, use the word ain. For example, methane, ethane, propane, butane. Right? So you are merging two things, right? This, this you got from the number of carbon atoms, and this guy you got from bonds. If it has one double bond also, use the word ene, ethene, ethine, ethene, butene, pentene. If it has one triple bond, use ine, ethine, butyne, pentyne, decine. So that's how it is, right? So use the word ine. So this is what the IUPC has told. First, is you count number of carbon atoms, right? And then you use the word meth, it, prop, but, pent, hex, hept, oct, like that. And then you find the number of bonds. If it has all single bond, use the word A. One double bond E. And one triple bond I. I'll take some examples. This is the very uh, basic uh, step for the IUPAC nomenclature. We have complex one also where we have to name a branch thing, right? But before that, let's uh, make ourselves comfortable with only two rules that is the number of common atoms and the bonds. So for example CH4. So CH4 if you see if you draw CH4 it is like this. How many carbon atoms? One. So one is meth. Right? All single bonds that means I'll use the word in. You add these two you get methane. And that's how this CH4 is methane. Hope you understand this. For this particular structure one carbon atom, so is meth, all single atom, in, so it's methane. We'll take C2H6. C2H6, if we draw, is like this C2H6, one hydrogen, one hydrogen, one hydrogen. So this is how C2H6 looks like. How many carbon atoms? So for two, you have used to use the word eth. All single bonds, use the word in. You add these two, you get ethane. So this particular thing is ethane. Correct. C3H6. C3H6 if you draw 1, 2, 3 and uh, C3H6. So if you see this guy is ene actually. Why? Because 3 into 2, 6, right? So it's alkene actually. So I'll just draw the structure. This is how it looks. It will have one double bond, right? So this guy will have one H here, one H here, and one H here. C three H is this guy. So how many carbon atoms? Three. So meth, eth, pro. Any double bond? Yes. Any triple bond? No. Double bond? Yes. So we'll use the word in. You add these two, you get propene. Correct. 
correct count the number of carbons three so prop double bond yes in propene let's take this guy so this guy if you see how many carbons one two three four carbons so it is butte four carbons right with it prop butte triple bond yes so ion word should be there because of a triple bond right triple bond you add these two you get butyne hope you understand this find the number of carbon atoms based on that you use with it prop butte then find the number of bonds if it has triple bond use word ion double bond use e and if it has all single bonds then use a thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again